uh, which reduces the amount of maintenance that's required. Uh, but it also means we can, we can probably allow them to run at higher temperatures because now the weaker components You can might, have things fail. The, uh, things can fail, but also the, you know, the weaker components can fail, and yet we know that you know, in many of these, these server systems, they can actually withstand very high temperatures for fairly long periods of time and are just fine. There's a, there, so it's, there's a statistical distribution of behaviors where some fraction do poorly in, in excessive heat, some do extremely well, and then on the average, some do okay. Uh, if you have to design your system for the weakest links, you know, then you need to pump in a lot more cooling than you would otherwise need. You need to worry about managing that. You know, so by, by again, t uh, using kind of law of large numbers, developing algorithms that are good at redistribution of computation, uh, you can eliminate that need. Uh, yeah, it's a and, functional unit. And allow unit. it to survive. Just think of it as a unit. Yes, some pieces fail. That's okay. I mean, just think about your own body, right? Your parts of you are failing all the time. Yeah. And yet, you're fine. You survive because your body understands how to redistribute the, the activities within it um, and how to compensate for that. Why We should be able to build our computer systems to do the same thing. What's going on inside the enclosure? Uh, as far as organize it, you know, the organization of the board or... Well, I think several things are happening. I mean, certainly, uh, you know, uh, increasingly, you know, people are trying to design uh, the, the processors and the boards to be more energy efficient themselves, reduce the amount of packaging material, because I think there's a huge opportunity for doing that. Uh, but then there's, there's also, I mean, if you look farther out at kind of, you know, farther out technologies, you know, people are starting to say, can we do things like eliminate wires? You know, so one of the experiments we have going on um, is is you know, can we can we effectively use free space optics uh, for communication within the enclosure so we can reduce the number of wires that are being used to, to, to channel information around between the various processors and instead use the fact that that we can distribute light you know through the through the unit and uh, heat will go and, way down I mean. and the 